Thank you to these four people for being members. If you want to support me, it's one dollar a month and it helps me a ton. Link is next to the subscribe button. It says join. Thank you so much. Hi guys and welcome to a new video. In this video, I will teach you how you can do surgery in Grotopia. It's very easy. I will show you how. So let's do it. First, you need to have all the tools. You don't actually need this one, but all the others. Then you also need surgery bots or hospital bed and another player. Then I also heavily recommend getting T to reduce skill fails. You will start at surgeon skill 0, so you will get more skill fails at first. But after you have done 100 surgeries, you will reach skill level 100 and then you get less skill fails. First up, you can see that the red text is the most important. Let's focus on that first. It says the fever is climbing rapidly. So the solution to that is antibiotics. First we need to use the lab kit, because the antibiotics are currently invisible. So use the lab kit, and then you can see the antibiotics. So start using those. It's still climbing. The high so we need to keep using the antibiotics okay now there's no more red text only this one right here and the operation site is not important you can just ignore this entirely we can see that the patient has a monkey flu you can see the yellow text next it says temperature is yellow so just keep using the antibiotics it's still yellow oh and it's done that was the flu surgery. The flu surgery is the easiest of them all, because you only need to use antibiotics, nothing else. If you want to practice surgery without losing the tools, you can join my Discord, link is in the description, you can practice there doing slash surgery in the bot channel, thank you. So let's go again. Now there is no red text other than the patient has not been diagnosed. So to diagnose the patient, just use an ultrasound right here. Now we can see that the patient broke his leg. The yellow text is what we need to fix now. So one broken and one shattered bone. To fix the broken bone, just use a splint right here. Then to fix the shattered bone, you need to make an incision. First put the patient to sleep with anesthetic. Then use a scalpel to make an incision. No, you can see that there is one incision. Now you can fix the shattered bone with the pins right here. Okay, now the shattered bone turned into broken bone. So now you need to close the incision. Just click the stitch to do that. Now there is only one broken bone left. Just use a splint to fix that. And it's done, just like that. Okay, I'm going to give you more examples. Let's go. So, again, there is no red text other than this one right here. So, let's diagnose the patient with the ultrasound. The patient has broke his leg again. So, you already know this one because I just show it to you. Let's hope we get a different one this time. Okay, so there is two red text. The patient is awake, but being awake is nothing bad. So you can just ignore that for now and just focus on the fact that the patient has not been diagnosed. So use an ultrasound. Okay, this is a hard surgery because the patient has a brain tumor deep inside. So to start, put the patient to sleep because he is awake. Use an anesthetic. Then you need to use a scalpel to make an incision. And the brain tumor is deep inside, so one incision isn't enough. You need to do more incisions until a fix it button appears right here. So just keep doing more incisions. At this point I get a yellow text saying it is becoming hard to see your work. So to fix that use a sponge right here. Just keep making more incisions and use a sponge. Okay, it doesn't work because there's too many incisions now, but we need one more. You can only use a sponge here. Okay, this looks alarming because there's a lot of stuff going on. The patient is about to wake up, so I could use an anesthetic, but I can also use the anesthetic when he wakes up. So now the fix it button appeared. So let's stitch up all the incisions we made because having five incisions is really dangerous. So let's stitch those up. Okay, he woke up. This is not good. Let's hope I don't fail. 
I need to put him back to sleep as fast as possible, so let's use an anesthetic. Okay, the patient is losing blood, that's because of the multiple incisions. The fever is also climbing, but the fever is only 101, so it's not too dangerously high yet. So let's focus on the fact that he is losing blood, and let's try to close the incisions as fast as possible with the stitches. Okay, he is only losing blood slowly now, but the fever is climbing, it's yellow. So to put the fever down, first use the lab kit. Okay, I got a skill fail. If you get a skill fail, you just need to repeat the last tool you used. Okay, I can finally use antibiotics now. There is a lot of things going on. He's going to wake up, the temperature is high, he's losing blood slowly. Let's put him back to deeper sleep. Okay, I can stitch him up now and use some antibiotics until the temperature is green. It's green now. And now, finally, always use fix it last. It makes it less likely that you fail. So, let's click fix it. And it's finally done. That was a harder surgery. Let's see another example. Okay, so, not yet diagnosed. It's the red, only red text, so let's diagnose it with ultrasound. Patient has a tumor in their lung. We need to make incisions. So first, always remember to put the patient to sleep with anesthetic because he's awake. Then you can start making incisions with the scalpel. Okay, nice. The fix it button already appeared. That's really good. We can just close the incision with a stitch. Now we can just click fix it. That was really easy. Let's see another example. Same thing, patient has not been diagnosed yet, that's the only problem he has, so let's use an ultrasound. Okay, it's testing again, brain tumor deep inside. So, first put him to sleep, then make an incision, again, and again, and again. You have to use sponge, incision again, you have to use sponge. Okay, now the fix it button appeared, that's good. Now, start closing the incisions with the stitches. The patient wakes up. This is really urgent. You need to put him back to sleep immediately. So click the anesthetic. Okay, he went back to sleep. Always focus on the red text first, unless the red text is here, because as I said, you can ignore this operation side thing. You don't need to think about this at all. Just keep closing the incisions. Okay, and now finally fix the fever. So use a lab kit and then use antibiotics. Okay, and then just click fix it. Okay, I hope you learned how to do a surgery and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.